I was expecting the man to come onto the pitch in the 70th minute, but instead we get him in the 53rd. The thing that stood out to me was the sheer talent disparity on the field between Messi and everyone else. Uh, you notice moments like this where Messi's clearly the best player on the field as he is making incredible passes, making incredible, you know, drib dribbling the ball uh, better than anyone on the field and making great attacking plays, passes, and teammates are squandering opportunities. One of the things that I noticed in the match was that um, anytime the ball would come to Messi, there was going to be two or three players that would um, swarm him immediately. They were going to press and try to make him turn the ball over um, immediately. They were not letting him just roam free that often. Um, the ball gets passed to him. They're tightening down on top of him. They're trying to be very physical with him. I noticed that uh, they were more physical with Messi than they were with anyone else, which I think is probably normal to um, be very physical with another team's uh, best player. I see them do it with Erling Holland in, in the um, Premier League. If you can be rough with him, you can kind of get him off his game, and so I think that that's probably what they were trying to do here with Messi, because he ended up on the grass a lot during the game. One of the cool things is we saw Messi try to score uh, a goal from the corner, which was pretty cool, something I know that he can do. Um, he missed it on this one, but everyone was really excited about it, because he, he almost made that. And on that play, one thing we got to see was the um, the difference in the level of passing from two legends like Messi and Busquets. There's there's a play in this game where uh, Busquets, with the ball at his feet, just looks comfortable. He doesn't look like he's... Um, I don't know how to describe it, but a lot of times with these Major League Soccer players, I see... When the ball gets passed to them, almost like they panic a little bit. It's like, okay, I got the ball. Where, where, where have I got to go? What have I got to do? Whenever the ball gets to Sergio and it's at his feet, he's calm, he's collected, he's surveying, he's analyzing the field. He doesn't look like he's afraid that they're going to come take it away from him because if they try, he knows where he's going. And so there was this, this sequence of play where... Sergio's like got the ball at his feet and he's pushing the ball up the pitch and he's making good passes to Messi. Messi gets the ball. Messi makes a little bit of a run, good attack, and then Messi makes a great pass, um, just advancing the ball. And then Major League Soccer sets in. These guys are very inaccurate with their passing ability. You can see, you saw it all game long. Um, MLS players were missing each other left and right. Um, not very crisp passing ability. No ability to finish. And Miami's defense was atrocious all game long. That man Messi really bailed them out here. Messi had a great little sequence here where the, the offside flag was down. But he was offside by... A mile. It was it was a very offside uh, call. Even I noticed that immediately. Ninety third minute of the game. Messi goes down on the pitch, and they're awarded a free kick. And it couldn't be written any better. What a goal! Messi put through the net to win the game for Miami. We're going to see that probably a lot more often here in Miami. Um, it was it was beautiful to watch the GOAT of football here in the States playing in Fort Lauderdale with the absolute worst team in the Major League Soccer League. But they're going to be good. They're going to be real good. Iniesta's coming. Alba's coming. They're going to be good. They will go from the worst team in MLS to the best team in MLS, and it won't be long. That being said, thank you for 
clicking on this video. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you like my content and you've been watching all my videos, why don't you just subscribe to the channel? I'd appreciate having you here on the road to 20,000 subscribers. That's crazy to me. We're almost there. Help me get there. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.